All right, well, we want to give our children the best for the holidays, but sometimes with tech evolving at such a fast pace, it's good to slow down and take a look at what the toys they play with actually do. So consumer and concerned parent groups are putting out a warning that certain toys could expose your child's information to hackers. That's pretty scary, right? Well, absolutely, especially with the little ones not knowing. So joining us to talk about some of these concerns is Ann Cutler, cybersecurity strategist at Keeper Security. Welcome, Ann. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. We're concerned parents. So let's first talk about what kinds of toys parents should be cautious about. Yeah, of course. Thanks so much for having me on, Nicole. Appreciate it. And, you know, I'm a parent. I get it. A lot of these toys are on my kids' wish list, and I'm sure they are on yours as well. So these can be anything from tablets to smartwatches, even robots, plush toys that can talk to your children, Amazon Echo devices, and things of that nature. So it's a very long list, and there's a lot of things that parents really should think about when making these purchases, and then also when setting them up. So what are the major privacy concerns and how can that data be used by cyber criminals? Yeah, so there are a lot of privacy and safety concerns to think about here. So privacy, when you look at these devices, a lot of them have microphones in them, they have cameras on them, they can even geo-track your location. So all of that information can be collected and if it's collected and in a database, it can be hacked by a cyber criminal. Additionally, when you look at privacy, you have to think about the fact that these companies can sell all of this information about your family, about your children to advertisers online. That's a gold mine for them. So they're collecting a lot of data about your family. The other thing to think about on the safety side is that when your children are gaming online using these connected devices, they can also be exposed to content that might not be age inappropriate. They can also talk to people via chat rooms. So you really need to be open and honest with your kids, talk with them, check those parental security control settings. That's really, really important. And just be smart about the information that's being collected. My goodness, it makes you just want to buy a bicycle, a football, a <laughs> basketball, and put the toy, let the toys go somewhere else. So if we are going to buy these toys, what are the protections? The best way in about 20 seconds to protect any of that information getting out there? Yeah, absolutely. So believe it or not, we do have some laws in place here in the United States. So that's a good thing. The COPPA law protects children under the age of 13. It basically says that parents have to have the right to provide consent for these companies to collect information about children. Also, you can revoke that consent and ask any company that's collecting information to stop doing it. Also protect all of the accounts behind these toys. Make sure you have strong passwords and enable MFA whenever you can. And thank you so much for joining us this morning. We really appreciate the tips.